These are a group of 19th century photographs that are in the process of acquisition at the Snipe Museum of Art at Notre Dame. They're really rare early French photographs from the 1840s and early 1850s, and they're quite rare. This is a photograph by Count Olympe Aguado, who was a wealthy count who had all the time and money and estates he needed to just spend his days in leisure. So he took up photography as a hobby and poked around with it in the first days, really, of the popularity of paper negative photography. And he had um, estates and home farms, so he took his camera around to places where he could just make photographs of his friends and of the things going on. This is one of the photographs of a, of a shepherdess and some sheep at a farm, probably that he owned in the south of France near Paris. And what you see are three sheep who are tethered to a stake in the ground by string or cord. And what's happened is they've walked around the cord so much that they've tied themselves up really close to to the stake and you see this shepherdess coming up behind them and it's amusing because one of the sheep is looking up at the camera. It's interesting because the photograph was taken um, with an exposure quickly enough so that it essentially stopped the action. You can get really wonderful sort of um, resolution on the fuzziness of the sheep's um, wool and you can see these three different sheep have different kind of wool. It's also really interesting the way that the shepherdess sort of comes in and you can't really see her face. She's sort of in the shadow of this big bonnet. So it really takes you into the sort of countryside of 19th century France. This is another one from the same photographer, Olympe Aguado, and it's wonderful because it represents some hunting hounds, a group of French hunting hounds who are also sort of hanging out tethered to a stake in the yard um, of the kennel, and they're also kind of resting in the sunshine and relaxing and looking at the photographer. So it's pretty amusing and pretty unusual for early French photography or early animal photography at all from this period. I have a sense that these hounds are part of a pack for stag hunting and may actually um, be part of a royal pack because there are all photographs by Aguado showing um, the Empress Eugenie getting ready for a stag hunt with a group of people in costume. Um, and I think that it's possible that this was taken at the same time. This is a photograph by another French photographer um, called um, Valo de Villeneuve. And he was someone who... Um, learned photography after having had a career as a lithographer or a lithographic artist. He would make um, drawings of, of women, particularly sort of stylish images of women for popular photographs. Um, fashion images, lithographs I should have said, fashionable images and images that were sort of popular sensual images. And he started making photographs and made a very interesting and early group around 1852 that was included nude figures in the studio posed in the style of academic nudes that have a long history through um, through studies of the academy going all the way back to ancient figures of sculpture and so on. He made this series of photographs that was published, actually printed and published, and this is one of that group. And we know that the painter Gustave Courbet used several of these images for famous paintings, 
of his own around this period. This one is interesting because it shows the figure swathed in sort of draperies and the artist has made much of the way that these draperies have different stripes going in different directions. So undoubtedly he posed the figure and arranged the way that the stripes fell around her form to create this interesting linear design. Cool. All right. All right.